Hey, fantastic viewers. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into a captivating Bible quiz, and I'm thrilled you're here for the challenge. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and get ready to test your biblical knowledge. And type Amen to show your faith. At the end of the quiz, comment down below with your score and let's see who the real Bible scholars are among us. Your engagement makes this community vibrant. So let's make this quiz an unforgettable experience together. Question 1. What was the name of the wife of King Ahab, who worshipped the god Baal and sought to kill the prophet Elijah? A. Zipporah B. Delilah C. Rahab D. Jezebel The right answer is letter D. However, Ahab son of Omri did evil in the sight of the Lord, more than all who were before him. And as if it were not enough for him to walk in the sins of Jeroboam son of Nabat, he even married Jezebel, the daughter of Ethbal, king of the Sidonians, and he then proceeded to serve and worship Baal. Question 2. What was the name of the bronze serpent that Moses made to heal the Israelites from snake bites? A. Seraphim. B. Leviathan C. Behemoth D. Nehushtan The right answer is letter D, and he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, just as his father David had done. He removed the high places, shattered the sacred pillars, and cut down the Asherah poles. He also demolished the bronze snake called Nehushtamb that Moses had made, for up to that time the Israelites had burned incense to it. Question 3. Who was the king of Moab who hired the prophet Balaam to curse the Israelites but ended up blessing them instead? A. Balak, B. Belshazzar, C. Nebuchadnezzar, D. Beelzebub. The right answer is letter A. So the Moabites said to the elders of Midian, this horde will devour everything around us, as an ox licks up the grass of the field. Since Balak son of Zippor was king of Moab at that time, he sent messengers to Balaam son of Beor at Pethor, which is by the Euphratesa, in the land of his people. Question 4. What was the name of the Babylonian king who threw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into the fiery furnace? A. Cyrus B. Belshazzar C. Nebuchadnezzar D. Darius The right answer is letter C. But if you refuse to worship, you will be thrown at once into the blazing fiery furnace. Then what God will be able to deliver you from my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. Question 5. Who was the first king of Israel, anointed by the prophet Samuel, but later rejected by God for his disobedience? A. David. B. Saul. C. Solomon. D. Samuel. The right answer is letter B. Then Samuel took a flask of oil, poured it on Saul's head, kissed him, and said, Has not the Lord anointed you ruler over his inheritance? When you leave me today, you will find two men at Rachel's tomb in Zelzah on the border of Benjamin. Question 6. Which apostle was known as the Son of Thunder? A. Saul. 
B. Peter C. John D. Andrew The right answer is letter C, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, whom he named Boanerges, meaning sons of thunder, Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus. Question 7. What was the name of the Israelite judge who killed an oppressive king with a tent peg? A. Deborah. B. Gideon C. Jephthah D. Jael The right answer is letter D. Stand at the entrance to the tent, he said, and if anyone comes and asks you, is there a man here, say no. But as he lay sleeping from exhaustion, Haber's wife Jael took a tent peg, grabbed a hammer, and went silently to Sisera. She drove the peg through his temple and into the ground, and he died. Question 8. Who was the prophetess who led the Israelites to victory over the Canaanites and composed a song of praise to God? A. Miriam B. Deborah C. Huldah D. Anna The right answer is letter B. Now Deborah, a prophetess, the wife of Lapidoth, was judging Israel at that time. And she would sit under the palm of Deborah between Ramah and Bethel in the hill country of Ephraim, where the Israelites would go up to her for judgment. Question 9. Who was the Egyptian pharaoh who enslaved the Israelites and was later plagued by ten divine judgments? A. Pharaoh Akhenaten. B. Pharaoh Thutmose III. C. Pharaoh Ramses II. D. Pharaoh Amenhotep III. The right answer is letter C. So the Egyptians appointed taskmasters over the Israelites to oppress them with forced labor. As a result, they built Pithom and Ramesses as store cities for Pharaoh. But the more they were oppressed, the more they multiplied and flourished. So the Egyptians came to dread the Israelites. Question 10. What was the name of the judge of Israel known for his great strength, which was derived from his uncut hair? A. Samson. B. Gideon C. Jephthah D. Ehud The right answer is letter A. He have shown us all these things or spoken to us this way. So the woman gave birth to a son and named him Samson. The boy grew, and the Lord blessed him. And the Spirit of the Lord began to stir him at Mahanedan, see between Zorah and Eshtaol. Question 11. According to the Book of Judges, what was the name of the Israelite judge who led a successful revolt against the Moabites? A. Ehud B. Jephthah C. Gideon D. Samson The right answer is letter A. Sometime later when the Ammonites fought against Israel and made war with them, the elders of Gilead went to get Jephthah from the land of Tob. Come, they said. Be our commander. 
so that we can fight against the Ammonites. Question 12. Who was the king of Judah known for his extensive building projects, including the construction of the first temple in Jerusalem? A. David B. Solomon C. Rehoboam D. Hezekiah The right answer is letter B. In the 480th year after the Israelites had come out of the land of Egypt, in the month of Ziv, the second month of the fourth year of Solomon's reign over Israel, he began to build the house of the Lord. The house that King Solomon built for the Lord was 60 cubits long. Question 13. What was the name of the king of Persia who issued a decree allowing the Jews to return to Jerusalem and rebuild the temple? A. Cyrus. B. Darius C. Xerxes D. Artaxerxes The right answer is letter A. This is the text of the letter king. Artaxerxes had given to Ezra the priest and scribe, an expert in the commandments and statutes of the Lord to Israel. Artaxerxes, king of kings. To Ezra the priest, the scribe of the law of the God of heaven. Greetings. Question 14. What was the name of the woman who became the wife of King David after her husband Uriah was killed? A. Abigail. B. Bathsheba C. Machal D. Tamar The right answer is letter B. When Uriah's wife heard that her husband was dead, she mourned for him. And when the time of mourning was over, David had her brought to his house, and she became his wife and bore him a son. But the thing that David had done was evil in the sight of the Lord. Question 15. Who was the prophet who challenged the prophets of Baal to a contest on Mount Carmel and called down fire from heaven? A. Micah B. Elisha C. Elijah D. Amos The right answer is letter C. So Ahab summoned all the Israelites and assembled the prophets on Mount Carmel. Then Elijah approached all the people and said, How long will you waver between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal is God, follow him. But the people did not answer a word. Question 16. Which king of Judah was known for his reforms to eliminate idolatry? A. Josiah. B. Hezekiah. C. Uzziah. D. Ahaz. The right answer is letter A. He did this to carry out the words of the law written in the book that Hilkiah the priest had found in the house of the Lord. Neither before nor after Josiah was there any king like him who turned to the Lord with all his heart and with all his soul and with all his strength. Question 17. In the Old Testament, what was the name of the man who was swallowed by a great fish after fleeing from God's command? A. Jonah. B. Elijah. C. Elisha. D. Amos.
The right answer is letter A. Then the men feared the Lord greatly, and they offered a sacrifice to the Lord and made vows to him. Now the Lord had appointed a great fish to swallow Jonah, and Jonah spent three days and three nights in the belly of the fish. Question 18. Who was the king of Israel known for his wisdom and for bringing peace to the land during his reign? A. Saul B. David C. Solomon D. Josiah The right answer is letter D, and God gave Solomon wisdom, exceedingly deep insight and understanding beyond measure like the sand on the seashore. Solomon's wisdom was greater than that of all the men of the East, greater than all the wisdom of Egypt. Question 19. What was the name of the man who encountered Jesus on the road to Damascus and was struck blind? A. Silas B. Barnabas C. Timothy D. Saul The right answer is letter D. As Saul drew near to Damascus on his journey, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice say to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Who are you, Lord? Saul asked. I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting, he replied. Question 20. Who was the Old Testament figure known for his patience and endurance in the face of suffering and loss? A. Job. B. Elijah C. Elisha D. Samuel The right answer is letter A. There was a man in the land of Uz, whose name was Job, and this man was blameless and upright, fearing God and shunning evil. He had seven sons and three daughters, and he owned 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 yoke of oxen, 500 female donkeys, and a very large number of servants. Question 21. According to the New Testament, what was the name of the man who helped carry Jesus' cross to Golgotha? A. Joseph of Arimathea. B. Simon of Cyrene. C. Nicodemus. D. Cleopas. The right answer is letter B. Now Simon of Cyrene, the father of Alexander and Rufus, was passing by on his way in from the country, and the soldiers forced him to carry the cross of Jesus. They brought Jesus to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. Question 22. Who was the daughter of Herodias who requested the head of John the Baptist? A. Jezebel. B. Salome C. Herodias D. Athalia The right answer is letter B, and when the daughter of Herodias herself came in and danced, she pleased Herod and his dinner guests. And the king said to the girl, Ask me for whatever you want and I will give it to you. And he swore to her, Whatever you ask of me, I will give it to you, up to half of my kingdom. Question 23. Which disciple of Jesus was a zealot before following him? A. Simon B. Andrew C. James D. 
Judas. The right answer is letter A. Simon, also known as Simon the Zealot, was a disciple of Jesus, who was likely associated with the Zealot Movement, a Jewish nationalist group opposed to Roman rule. After becoming a follower of Jesus, he abandoned his previous affiliations and devoted himself to Christ's teachings. Question 24. Who was the high priest who presided over Jesus' trial and accused him of blasphemy? A. Gamaliel B. Annas C. Caiaphas D. Nicodemus The right answer is letter C. One of the officers standing nearby slapped him in the face and said, Is this how you answer the high priest? Jesus replied, If I said something wrong, testify as to what was wrong. But if I spoke correctly, why did you strike me? Then Annas sent him, still bound, to Caiaphas, the high priest. Question 25. Who was the Old Testament prophet known for his fiery chariot ride to heaven and for his successor? A. Elisha B. Elijah C. Isaiah D. Jeremiah The right answer is letter B. As they were walking along and talking together, suddenly a chariot of fire with horses of fire appeared and separated the two of them, and Elijah went up into heaven in a whirlwind. As Elisha watched, he cried out, My father, my father, the chariots and horsemen of Israel. Question 26. Who was the king of Israel who had a vision of a staircase reaching to heaven with angels ascending and descending? A. Saul. B. David C. Solomon D. Jacob The right answer is letter D, and Jacob had a dream about a ladder that rested on the earth with its top reaching up to heaven, and God's angels were going up and down the ladder, and there at the top see the Lord was standing and saying, I am the Lord, the God of your father Abraham, and the God of Isaac. Question 27. Who was the king of Israel who had 700 wives and 300 concubines? A. Solomon. B. David C. Jeroboam D. Ahab The right answer is letter A. You must not intermarry with them, for surely they will turn your hearts after their gods. Yet Solomon clung to these women in love. He had 700 wives of royal birth and 300 concubines, and his wives turned his heart away. Question 28. In the Old Testament, what was the name of the widow who offered hospitality to the prophet Elijah during a time of famine? A. Widow of Zarephath. B. Widow of Nain. C. Widow of Shunem. D. Widow of Tekoa. The right answer is letter A. Then the word of the Lord came to Elijah. Get up and go to Zarephath of Sidon and stay there. Behold, I have commanded a widow there to provide for you. So Elijah got up, and went to Zarephath. When he arrived at the city gate, there was a widow gathering sticks. 
Wow, that was quite a journey, wasn't it? If you found this quiz enriching, please express your support by clicking the like button. Hit the subscribe button below. We're eager to have you join us again. Now, before you go, take a moment to tell us how you performed on the quiz. Share your results in the comments section. Thank you for participating in Quiz Bible, and we can't wait to see you in the next exciting quizzes.